What up, world? This is Elijah Mindset Morgano here. This is episode number four of Creating Our Reality, Aligning Our Frequencies and Vibrations. What is a frequency and the vibrations and attaching them to our thoughts and emotions and feelings and how they all mix together into creating what's going on in our world. Understanding the collective consciousness and talking a little bit about the soul. So listen, listen, listen. I hope you've been paying attention to this series because what's going on in the collective consciousness of this this world that we're in or this this reality that we're in, if you don't know how to pay attention to your frequencies, your vibrations, your emotions, if you can't get control of them, you're going to be a puppet, not just to a government, not just to an organization, not just to a business. You're going to be a puppet to your habits, your belief systems, your BS system. So this episode right here is focused on the frequencies and vibrations. And I've been studying people like Albert Einstein and Nikolai Tesla and hmm. All some Christian leaders like my homeboy Jesus studying Buddha. I'm studying, I'm studying these people because they all have one thing in common, not mo- pre- preaching multiple religions, but preaching and, and uh, suggesting frequencies and vibrations. Getting everything is energy. So when you learn how to become aware of your emotions, feelings, Dante, what up, bro? When you become aware of understanding why praise and worship is so powerful. When you become aware that when you feel in a lower frequency of vibration of fear, doubt, worry, fear, doubt, worry, anxiety, when you feel those things, you have a choice. You have a conscious choice to raise your frequencies and vibrations. You have a choice to be positive, to choose the opposite of fear. Most of it is operating in faith, but most people don't understand faith is something going into the unknown with a frequency of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is Greek for entheos. That means God within. I'll say that again. Our frequencies and vibration, enthusiastic, being like before I was mindset, Morgano, and understanding the mind, before we, before we, and I stake away from the I because my frequency, our frequency and vibration is that of the universe, university, understanding that God is an eternal love, that's a frequency, our consciousness is our currency, and our climate is love. Love is a frequency and vibration, and I'm going to keep saying frequencies and vibration because one of the guys that created the Tesla, the, the Nikolai Tesla, he created the alternated current motor. He said if you wanted to understand the universe, study, we must study frequencies and vibrations. And all those, shout out to Annie, what up Annie? All those that are elevating in life, all those that are elevating or, or struggling in life, or you're down and you feel like everything is coming, is closing in on you. It's a frequency and vibration of the collective. It's a frequency and vibration of the collective consciousness. If you're not paying attention to what's going on in this world, you'll get caught up to what's going on in this world. So I'm telling you and I'm letting you know now that anything that's resistance is going to stop your 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 the things that you talk about, what you don't want, is going to stop your mission into getting that desires that you do want. And what I mean by it, you have the frequencies and vibrations, the emotions of when you're feeling fearful. If you want to feel fearful or calm, do you want to feel fearful or faithful, do you want to be hateful or loving, those all have frequencies and vibes. It's, it's being conscious of what are we putting into ourselves? What are we allowing to put? The words that are coming out of our mouths, I'm saying all of these things, but paying attention to our emotions, becoming very, very aware of our emotions, being able to look at things and being able to attach, detach yourself from the actual person or being that you may not agree with, but being able to find out how to find the silver lining in them and changing their frequency and vibration to elevate. Like, I can't, I can't express. I can't stress the amount of importance, we can't express the amount of importance that if you're going through something 
and it feels like it's a lot of pressure on you, it's because you're about to level up and go to the next level. You're about to break through that thing they call a terror barrier because you're you're releasing old chains and shackles. You're letting go some bad frequencies and vibrations, not bad or good, but some lower frequencies and vibrations. And this is the thing when I understood about success, success leaves clues. And all these people we talk about studying from even in, the, in, the, in the, all those good books is, like I said, they all had to face a giant, David. Steve Jobs lost his look Apple has a whole like unity a, a whole discipleship it's a whole it's a, Apple it has created a culture so like just how how Christ created a culture <laughs> Muhammad created a culture like you're, the collective consciousness of a culture when you understand that it doesn't allow you to fall victim to the religion and, and, and allows you to establish a relationship with all those you come in contact with because some that person is either your teacher or a student someone you can get a lesson of blessing from they're a part of your reality because your dominant frequency and vibrations if you talk about what you don't want how you don't want to lose your job how you scared to go out and be that entrepreneur because you don't want to you what if you fail to always bringing up what you fail that's what 96 percent of the world do that's why they rather have a safe job than actually start a entrepreneurship because it gets ugly it gets crazy the frequencies and vibrations get low because you have to learn how to go through it. You have to learn how to elevate. You have to learn how to lean on something that's higher than yourself. When we understood that, we had to raise our frequencies and vibrations. We took Elijah. We took him through a series of events that allowed him to raise his frequencies and vibrations. And he's still going through a series of events because now is the time. Everybody are acting scared. They're acting like things are not happening right before their eyes. They're blaming it on the government and the, tr the educational system. You change your frequency and vibration and stop being a victim and allow the universal you, the one that placed the seed inside of you, you allow them to use you as they should. Just know that any message must have a mess. Any test, the money must have a test. And when you become emotionally aware and you become disciplined, Elijah, how do you do that? How do you become emotionally aware? When you get goosebumps and feelings, start actively listening to those that you're having conversations with. Pay attention because you're either infecting or affecting everyone you come in contact with because we're not solid. We are frequencies and vibrations vibrating at very high rates. And I suggest and urge you, you most welcome, Annie. I suggest and urge you, if you don't meditate, meditate 15 minutes a day. Paying attention to your frequency and vibrations of thinking about things you love and paying attention to the goosebumps you get on your arms. This is not Elijah Morgano speaking. I, I'm at, I, we are now in a place that we understand that when you tap into the source, you may think you call him God or the Alpha and Omega. There's a lot of source that's up there and not this reality. But when you tap into it, it allows you to tap into those of that have gone through what's already happening. Success leaves clues. My book bag that I carry around all the time, the documents and the stuff that I've been reading, the YouTubes, we're now at a stage now. Like I tell a lot of people, if my brother Jesus, if our brother Jesus, if our brother Jesus had YouTube, he would have been viral. He wouldn't have just been in that small sector. So I share and I urge. Now is the time to chase after your heart's desires. Go and don't wait until January 1. Start now on changing your frequencies and vibrations to a point of seeing everything. You have to, you have to, you have to become aware of yourself. Self-awareness, you have to become aware of yourself. And lastly, developing an attitude of gratitude. Grateful for the blessings and lessons. I may be saying the same thing over and over and over and over again, but repetition is king and I lie to you not. The king of kings, the, the alpha and omega of everything, no matter what religious doctrine it is, I guarantee you at the core of it is talking about emotions, thoughts, and our feelings. I didn't talk anything about the mind today. This was all about aligning your frequency and vibration and it's be first starting to become aware 
of when you get fearful and anxiety and becoming aware of when you get happy and becoming aware and the the best way to do this is becoming silent and spending those 15 minutes a day just breathing, focusing on your breathing and, and your alpha and your omega and your creator after doing this for, I don't know, one day, two days, 27 days, 30 days, however it take long it takes you to focus on your breathing for 15 minutes, your source, your creator will allow you to get the message. So my name is Elijah Mindset Morgano, and I hope y'all enjoyed this episode number four on creating our reality. And I say ours, because we, (laughs) we're the collective consciousness, where our consciousness is our currency and love is our climate. And we have a father that wants us to win. Do you.